Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Adam. I'm here with Spring at Dawn. Uh, let's see what our next upgrade is. I'm here about the repairs. Let me make sure I'm recording, yeah. Yep, all I need to make this dump into a decent dwelling. Fixing the kitchen will cost you 4000 Fixing the rest area, 3000 Sleeping and bathing area is 4000 And the workbench restoration, uh, twenty or 2000 and it's done. 20000 Phew. Um, I was told I should prioritize the rest area. I don't know what I get for it, but uh, I'm willing to take that advice. Uh, everyone needs his rest. Let's fix up the rest area. I sure like resting. Come back in a day and everything will look stunning. You pass the money to the, te to the technician. Upon smoking a ciggy, he lowers himself into the bunker. The lid closes shut behind him. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and burn 12 hours off that day. I'm going to take these beetroots from you, bud. So I can eat, and then we will go and talk to the blonde-haired girl, because I found her uh, standing all the way over here. This is the blonde girl from uh, Safe Journey Farm. I can't click on her for whatever reason. There we go. A young woman walks along Red Fighter streets with a very businesslike air around her. In her hands she holds her unerring gun, her eyes burn with energy. As she sees you, she gives you a salute. Greetings, colleague. Oh, what do you do in our village? I can see you're very busy. Gojin has charged me with watching the stalkers who move through the village. With these rascals, you have to be a good shot and a devoted haggler. Look, I can teach you one of these things, but only one. Which doesn't make sense to me. Uh, tell me what you've learned what you've learned about the wasteland way of doing business. You spend the next four hours practicing sales. By the end of the tiring training session, you feel much more able to haggle with even the most crooked merchants. Phew. This is one hell of a lesson, but I think I've had enough training for now. So plus ten to barter. Sweet. I'll grab that. So my throat's still a little, little funny today. It doesn't hurt. Uh, but I'm still recovering, so if there's any inconsistencies with my voice, that's why. Alright, so we're going to head to Krasno. We have two quests to turn in for decent payouts. Uh, we have the one for the Militia Chief. And we have the one for the, uh, the Death Gang. And if there's a doctor that can uh, fix withdrawal, I will also get that. Because I hate having withdrawal. Let me go ahead and eat as well. Alright, yeah, we'll talk to the caravanners real quick. Uh, I still have a bunch of guns to sell that my companions are holding. And we got a ride to Krasno, hopefully. No, they're going to Ultra Noye. Not where I'm heading. Well, he has a fair amount of rubles. I can sell him what I have. I'll have a few knickknacks in my inventory to sell. Oh no! Where's my auto save at? Nope. Alright, well, it wasn't worth that much. That's fine. Let's give him all that stupid stuff for free. Alright, so we have these. Oh yeah, I don't know if I explained it, but uh... Yeah, last episode, the reason why he was using the wooden assault rifle is because something happened to his TT pistol. I'm not sure what. I don't remember selling it. I think maybe he dropped it, or he got knocked out of his hands. Uh, so now he's using an SMG, instead of the uh... He's using the PPS-43. Which is an upgrade, it does more damage. Uh, I think it's Hexogen that's carrying all my stuff, right? Yeah. Well, I could just sell this. This would cover most of the costs. Leaving him with 613. Can I get that? This is not a big deal. Trade him this, take his money, and then I can grab some other crap from him while I'm here. I 
found us, I could use some more food. Grab some ammunition. Alright, then I owe him a few rubles. Done. And I'll give, uh, what's his face, the gasoline. Because a while back, someone told me I should be collecting gasoline anyway. So that's what I'm going to do. And then we're going to get out of here. We're going to head towards Krasno. <coughs> Man. Yeah, I don't think I was actually sick. I think it was just some allergies. Which is crazy, because I used to not even have allergies. Uh, I lived in California for a few years, and I moved back to the East Coast. And uh, now I have allergies, and it's awful. I was pampered by the lack of seasons in California, I guess. Even if I had, I don't, like, I don't remember having allergies, but, uh, even if I did have them, they were never this severe as what I have now. It is awful. And so I'm still recuperating from whatever, whatever changes I faced. Our dog is injured, so I'll kill these rats and give him the meat. piece of meat. Where you at, dog? Come here. Is that the only rat that was in here? I don't see another one. But they also like to hide like right past walls and stuff like that. Sweet. That's a pretty good find. Alright, back to the caravan here. If I turn in those quests, then I'll return to Red Fighter and see if the upgrade is done, and see what I get for the upgrade. And then we'll start the next upgrade. Um, I do want to return back to the Death Tunnel at some point. That might be next episode or the episode after. I might do the Mutant Quest first. Uh, rescue the Statue of Lenin. Yeah, TT Pistol was 7 to 14. Whereas the SMG is what? Oh, 7 to 13. It's actually less. Alright, guess what? We're getting a TT pistol back. Slowly but surely, we're gonna get that TT pistol back. Alright, I'll give you these two pistols for this one really nice one. You'll give me... I'm sorry, just one of those. has a higher max damage, so yeah, definitely use that, Fidel. And I know you'll never use Burst Fire with it, so... Let's sell this Sharpening Stone real quick, and then be on our merry way. Continue our journey to Krasno. Oh yeah, I didn't try to be in a guard for anything. I wonder if you would let me tra that one guy would have let me travel to Ultra Noye for free. Since I would offer to act like a guard. Come on. There you go. So I'll probably do that quest again. Let's, let's talk to him. See what he has to say. Tough looking stocky caravan driver in a headscarf gives you a friendly look as if he was expecting you. Fancy meeting you here. Uh, do you need any help? Rumors. One scientist told me that radiation doesn't really cause mutations, such as those we can see all throughout the waste. What did cause them then? Do you need any help with the caravan? Sure thing, we're just about to go to Paragon. Care to help us out? Not yet. If you don't go anywhere... Well, no, because I'm still going to go back to... Uh... And I, supposedly you're supposed to be able to recruit her for the Red Fighter. Maybe... Oh, I probably need to make the kitchen. That's right. She's supposed to be the cook. So we'll keep an eye out on that as well. Uh, let's see. Who's first? The... And this is where the Death Gang guy lives. I 
Okay, uh, well, speak. Uh, mind a couple questions about the leaders of the criminal group? Can I tell them that I killed them? Oh, I've dealt with the gang. There it is. So I guessed. If I look on your face, it's done then. The area is free from menace. The old gangster covers his face with his shaking, desiccated palms, his whole body shaking as he cries. My children. Oh, my children. Dima, little Lena, Igor, forgive me. Forgive me for turning you into monsters. Forgive me for stealing your innocence. Forgive me. You'll never see the light of truth, and it's all my doing. Oh, a father's grief. May God let me, let me too once learn this powerful, noble, high sentiment. Forgive me. Forgive me. Wait in silence. And then he quickly gives you a lopsided bundle, apparently packed by shaking ill hands. Through the holes in the cloth you see money and medical appliances. The parcel's weight suggests there's ammunition in it too. This is all I have, except my life. Uh, okay, well let's see what I got. What did I get? Jeez, two med kits, handful of 9x39mm, and uh, 3,000 rubles pretty good. Thank you, I'll put it to good use. Before you leave, I want to say goodbye to you properly. The man sniffles, his eyes full of tears again, but now a happy smile plays upon his lips. By doing what you did, you demonstrated you possess a force no one in our criminal group death ever thought ever even existed. Never allow it to take control of your mind, or it will lead you down the path paved by monsters. Power doesn't mean ruling the weak, it means responsibility. I can see. Now, for the first time, I can see. The moon hides behind a cloud, my friend. The lights go out in the tower. Fast as a flash, the man snatches a razor tucked in his belt and slashes his throat. Okay, rest in peace, old man. Got anything on you? He told me that was all he had. You know what? Screw you, old man. I'm gonna take those five rubles. He held out on me. And you all bore witness to that. And he also had a fork and some tobacco. Alright, let's talk to the militia man. Turn in this. Oh, I think Fidel actually has the head in his inventory. I should have waited until I was in here to grab the head from Fidel. But that's fine. If you're learning, you're not failing. Bob Ross said that. I think I've already quoted that once in this Let's Play, but I love Bo I love Bob Ross quotes. Business to discuss. Here is the head of One Eye Martin Martinenko. You sure? It's his rotten head. Yeah, my respect. Here's two hundred rubles. You've earned it, fair and square. All right. Last winter. Since last winter, blah, 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 I can't read. English is a very difficult language. Since last winter, I'm interested in the head of Slowfoot the Undertaker from the cohort Blades of Rage. Reason, robberies, close to the place called Red Fighter. Okay, cool. Got another quest. Um, let's check out the gun shop real quick. See if there's anything scoped for my boy. Uh, Hexogen. There we go. And I also have a gun to sell myself, so. Nice looking assault rifle. Oh no, it's rifles and shotguns. A Soviet assault rifle made by Sergei Simonov. The Wasteland Engineers added a foldable stock to the construction. A foldable stock to the construction. Hmm. What does it take? 762 by 54. I don't know how much of that I have. A eh, decent amount, so I don't know how worth it would be. Does he have some here? 762 by... Yeah, there it is. He only has nine shots. I mean, we could definitely use that in the, uh... in the death tunnel. Well, he only wants... I only get 258 out of this? Yeah, screw that. No, I'm not taking your garbage. I get a better price in, out, the, uh, out in the waste from a caravan. 
All right, let's go talk to the armor, and then we'll head back to Red Fighter, see about the upgrade. And then... Then I'm not sure. A whole episode will probably be dedicated to the mutant quest for the, uh, the Commissar here. And um, there will also probably be a whole episode dedicated to the Death Tunnel again when I go back there. Oh yeah, the armor. Son of a gun. So there's another bulletproof vest. I'd like one of them to have it. Oh, what you got, old man? Special Forces Helmet. How does that compare to what I have equipped? Or is that what I have equipped? Regardless, it is an upgrade for somebody. Um, how many ripples do I have? So it might be worth buying. I can find. Oh, wait, I need to turn this stuff into. Son of a gun. Yeah, let's just grab this. Where are my rules? We'll be fine. I don't have the special forces helmet. This is what? 17 and 5? 15 and 3. So it's not as good. But it's better than probably what they're using. Oh, yeah, I have this I can sell too. Son of a gun. Yeah, this is better than this. So I'll trade you for that. I can also sell this. Just get my money back. Alright, there we go. Alright, and then uh, where is the hotel at? It's in the Shoot, I need to go back and turn in. It's like 12 pieces, but still. It's money. It's more money than I had. And then back to Red Fighter, see about the upgrade. And then, uh... So not sure what to do after that. I'll look at my quests once we, uh, mock that out. Waste paper, I have 11. Alright, 58 out of the 500. Coolio. What am I do? Actually, let me just go ahead and wait for another. I can't because I'm withdrawn. Son of a gun. Alright. Back to Red Fighter. Actually, I should probably... Well, I can't kill time because I can't rest because I withdrawn. I already tried that so uh, do I have the mountain pass of woe it's probably over there to the uh, left I just can't see it right now scavengers that's people I can kill Oops. what you got bud uh, stuff that I want. Arm yourselves, comrades.
Tyson took 11 damage. Screw that. Haha. All right, I gotta run this guy down. What's up, bud? Shoot at me instead of hexogen. Haha, doesn't work. Good shooting, everybody. Don't you shoot me? All right. Whew. Nothing to it. Got some ammunition. Um, steel armor is worth a decent amount. I can give it to one of my companions to carry as well. Take all of this stuff. Gas mask, only 50%. Supposedly there is a 100% gas mask you can find, so I'm keeping my eyes open for that. A little something for the dog. So we'll take it. And then Fidel, carry this armor for me. And let's be on our merry way. I'm hoping that enough time has passed because I can't wait while I'm withdrawn. <sighs> um. Oh, hey, it's the uh, gang leader that the. Okay, well, that's convenient. Well, let's attack. I want your head, friend. Get him, doggy. Doggo. Only the three of them? Yeah, there's only there's usually only three in these situations. Alright, I'm gonna keep running. Try to keep my dog safe. So these guys focus on me. Now we're about the guy with his fists. Yeah, my dog will be okay. That's cute. I've got 90 well, I had 94 health. Your bullets can't stop me. the rest of you guys. Get shooting, Fidel. Hey, doggo, you need to just get on out of here. Oh man, that's a real shame. You know what doesn't jam? Machetes. Actually, you know what? Don't waste any more ammunition on this guy. Oh, it's still my turn. <laughs> Silly me. Don't waste stimulant on yourself. You're gonna die. And then I don't get to loot it from you. So, stop it. Didn't even buy you another turn, you turd. Um, clone is worth a good amount. A uh, rusty rifle can be sold for something. Enjoy your new rifle, bud. Alright, let's find this head.
sure. All right, Fidel, how much Karen can, oh, you have plenty. Yeah, take this stuff. All right, you got the head? There it is, all right. More waste paper for that other quest. Fidel, hold on to these things, right? And that? Oh, I'm still encumbered. How much does this head weigh? Three. Alright, Hexogen, you're gonna carry the head for me. Perfect. Alright, let's get out of here. It's a red fighter. Another quest complete. Oh, well, let's see. Did anybody level up? Sorry, I just knocked my mic. Nope. Alright. Next stop, Red Fighter. Yeah, I don't think uh, a day has passed yet. Which sucks, because there's nothing near Red Fighter. Well, who are you? Why are you standing outside of my thing? Let's go check on the upgrade first before I do anything else. Alright, there's a bunch of people sitting in my house. Um, let's talk about upgrades first. Gojin is rolling a cigarette. Periodically, he throws a glance at a downcast, bearded man that stands near him. When Gojin notices you, he lifts his hand up. Hey there, soldier. Look who we caught sneaking around the settlement. Don't know who he is. Most probably a spy. The man sighs sadly and shakes his head. Now, why did you bring him here for, Gojin? You should have shot him outside of it, and that's it. Uh, whose spy might he be? Who would want to spy on us? Gojin fixes his hair. These lands are not as calm as they seem. He may be working for slavers or bandits. Maybe you should ask him personally. The man lifts his head up and starts talking in a meek voice. If you may, I'm no spy nor am I a thief. I just had, I just heard about your village and decided to offer my services. Um, who did you hear the intel from? From the traders. I met a caravan and people from it told me there's something akin to a settlement in these parts. It's just a rumor, but he also said people believe Adam owns it. So there I was, thinking I could help you people out, because I have a pretty rare skill. Yeah, why were you hiding then? Well, I wasn't sure about you guys. Decided to watch you before coming out. Check whether you're bandits or not. I don't want to work for bandits. Uh, where did you hear about us? From the traders. I met a caravan, and people from it told me there's something akin to a settle- Okay, never mind, I just asked that. Uh, what sort of skill? Without any words, the man shows you his hands, with long, thin fingers. These hands seem to have endured a lot of work. I can make ammo. If you provide me with the workbench and resources, I can make you pre-war grade ammo. Everything I ask in return is allowing me to stay here. Now, how did you get this talent? I don't know. Never did it before the war. But after it, I suddenly became an expert, back in my city of birth, true to grad. Then I was captured by bandits. Made ammo for them. It took six years for me to escape slavery. So I went on, walking the wastes. Heard about your settlement and decided it's time to find a place to live in. Well, that sounds great, you're hired. Thanks a lot. You'll see how handy I am. When you fix the bench, I'll start my work ASAP. But would you look at that? Everything turned out well. Anyway, let me keep you no longer. Yes, our team has a new teammate. Okay, so maybe I should do the workbench next, or... Let's do the kitchen so I can see about getting that girl from, uh... Krasno. So 4,000. So be it. A kitchen is still better than an open fire. You could also ask for a cook to hire. Anyway, come back in two days. He passed the money to the, to the technician. Upon smoking a ciggy, he lowers himself into the bunker. The lid closes shut behind him. And who are you? Wait, is this the guy from the beginning of the game? <gasps> it is. It's the Alexander guy. A tall, muscular man in a weathered blue beret gives you one look before slapping you on the shoulder. Hey, Chav. Well, that's a neat trick you pulled there, you son of a whore. You quickly recognize this man to be Alexander, your fellow Adam cadet. You trained together, and later on you got both got briefed on the disappearance of General Mor Morozov. I still remember you being so young. A tiny baby whose dirty butt I used to wash in the... Oh boy. Basarayan Fountain. And now look at you, being all tough, making new settlements all over the place. You're your mom's biggest mistake, and now you're the pride of, the, of all the wasteland. I love this guy. You and Alexander are of the same age. Plus the something fountain... The... Bashisarian Fountain isn't a real place, since it was made up by the Russian classical poet Alexander Pushkin. 
These two facts make you somewhat alert after you listen to Alexander's t uh, tirade. Hello, cadet. Then I expect you to visit this place. Oh, wow. Hey there, Fido. So you got tired of hanging around at that bar you had? You could say that. Duty called me into the wastes. I always told you that your place should be on the battlefield. Have you seen your head? It can be used to send light signals back to the base. So useful. Wow, I'm really glad to see you, Alexander. I have so many questions. Alexander smiles softly and then delivers a strong punch straight into your gut. Darn it, son. It's like hitting some of that syrup Mom made for her famous Georgian pies. But anyway, I like your style. Remember how they taught us to ask at least four questions to anyone you meet? Sure seems like you do. Go on. You quickly remember that Alexander was never in Georgia, and neither were his parents, but you said to keep that. Keep your mouth shut. And what brings you to Red Fighter? The land, it's filled with rumors. Soon as I heard some nut job was rebuilding communism in some wacky settlement, I ran straight to the place. It took me a while, but still. Here I am. Greet me with gifts of vodka and pies. We marines are a dying breed, so we should hang on to each other. It's brother for brother, even if your brother is some chav. I remember that Alexander was never a marine. More so, you remember him buying that blue beret off a junk trader a few years ago. Uh, do you know Gojin? He's one of us too. That dick? He pisses me off. I was trying to be funny, so I hid in his place to spook him. But as soon as I jumped out, he grabbed his gun and started fanning it. Bullets all over the place. Shooting, shooting someone who nearly died for his sorry butt in Afghanistan. That's just low. I'll tell you this much, bub. The waste for me... The waste for me are like a resort. But some people should not be here. The local atmosphere messes with their brains, you know? Makes them retarded. You're not the worst case, even. Uh, what are you even doing in the wasteland? Alexander smirks and knocks himself on the forehead. Come on, bub. What are you, stupid? Hello, dum-dum. Idiot boy. Do you think they only sent you to look for Mar Marazov? That'd be like sending my old hag of a mother. She would, she would even do better, I think, since all you actually do around here is playing with the local politicians, killing ants, and solving the troubles of local peasantry. But since our Adam leaders aren't sociopaths, they didn't send my mother out. They did send me. Remember that Alexander never had a mother as he grew up. He was an orphan who picked up, who was picked up by an Adam agent during a patrol mission. Uh, so what have you learned while researching the case? I'm not telling. There are ears everywhere. Have you seen those mutants who live in dumps such as Krasno? Eyes too close to the nose. Small chins, tiny biceps. Would it be so dumb to propose that some of them went a little bit further with the mutations and turn themselves into bushes or trees to spy on me? And write down anything I'm saying? I'm too careful? Maybe. But I'm not dead, and lack of trust is the main reason for it. Uh, so, so how long since you made contact with the base? Alexander scowls at you. Who are you? Communication specialist Vasily? What if I never made contact? What then? Will you make me eat boiled eggs for a month like last time? Huh? I'll have you know I wasn't even issued a radio. Plus, I don't know what to report. Really now, Bubba. Why are you always trying to make me look stupid? Sometimes I even regret I didn't leave your tiny baby butt near that fountain at Amun's place. Our palace, sorry. Amun's palace in Afghanistan? Uh, you were not even born when it was destroyed. Idiot, that was a metaphor. You don't know what that means, right? It's Greek for mock me again and die. <laughs> know anything on the subject of our mission? Alexander gives you a mysterious smile. Might not know anything, but I sure know of someone who might just help you out. But we'll talk about it later. I'm not done testing you, you see. Oh yes, for this chat we're having is actually a test that only smart, smart and strong people pass usually. Ah, uh, I'm even somewhat jealous of you, bub. You only see the front layers of things. You don't get deep meanings, intricate workings of things around you. You swim around like a dumb little goldfish, caring about nothing. What bliss! Oh come on, tell me what you mean. Oh fine, you talked me into it. See, Bubba, I was so bored being all alone in the waste, I decided to entertain joining you on your on our quest. But I don't know if that was a good idea yet. So let's just keep talking for now, okay? Hey Alexander, why are you constantly making crap up as we speak? What's up, buddy? Alexander's constant half smirk disappears from his face, and they can wait for a solemn expression. The man looks you straight in the eye and sighs. Can't trick you, buddy. You're right. I even asked you to chat with me for so long because I thought talking with some of my past uh, would trigger my memories. It didn't trigger crap. Now I'll tell you why I'm like this, and you won't tell it to anyone. We clear? Who will I blab to? Uh, calm down, bro. Your secret is safe with me. Meh. On the other hand, I don't care. Go ahead, tell my secrets to your stupid new friends from Ultra Noye or something. It won't change anything, you gossiping... <laughs> not gonna say that word. I'll say punk. Instead of that word, I'll say punk. Anyway, listen up. 
Once I found a bottle of vodka near some woods, so naturally I presumed it was dropped there by General Marazov. It was clear as day to me. Marazov got lost, drank himself silly, and went into the woods to hang himself, or you know, gather some shrooms. So I followed the trail which led me into the marsh near that one gas station. Uh oh. Continue listening in silence. So here I am, walking knee deep in crap water, when suddenly I hear something above me in the tree branches. I show no emotion, naturally, since I'm too manly for feminine stuff like fear and screaming. So I calmly move a branch, and there he sits. A weird colorful worm of some kind, long as my arm and fat it like a gosh darn piglet. He was so darn cute, too. Orange tail, black tummy, eyes on fat little antennas. Walking around on ten stubby legs, whistling a, sh a show tune if I remember correctly. I grabbed him and placed him on my shoulder like a pirate would a parrot. What could go wrong, I thought. I have an elite pet. I have an elite pet, and if I get hungry, I have already, I, I'll have a ready caught breakfast. But as I walked further, imagining how tasty the little guy would be after I roasted him above a freshly made fire, he started crawling into my ear. And when he, when he managed to get halfway in there, despite him being so fat, he started eating my brain, chomping on it, you know? Now, if I wasn't dead at the next moment, I'd try and grab him, but nope. Hold on, what, you died? Alexander smacks himself on the forehead. What do you think? I did mention he ate my brains, right? Ate them all like a snake would an egg. First I lost control over moving my limbs, then I became blind, then my whole life flashed before me, and it became all dark. Sometime later I awoke, but I wasn't myself exactly. I had weird memories, you know? Half of them, of, half of them are of me training to become an Adam Cadet. The other half of them are, are, I'm sorry, the other half of them are me wriggling along tree branches, waiting for humans to come around. So that I could gobble their brains up. Uh, the third part of my memories is really messy. It consists of things that never happened to me. Things I dreamt of, or heard of, or read of in, comp in books. But they still seem real. Also, I lost my smoking habit. I don't drink as much, and when I eat, I prefer raw pork and beef, even though canned stuff is good too. I still like getting my hands on cuties, so there's that. Cool story, huh? So we're dealing with a parasitic organism that is somewhat beneficial to the people it clings to, but to what extent does the worm take over the host's personality? Alexander makes an expanding gesture around his head. Boom. Mind blown. See if you take no babble for the eggheads back in, back in the base. Just tell me. Who am I? Alexander? Or the worm with Alexander's memories? Well, you were always a liar and an idiot and a stealer of others' valor. You 100% Alexander. Uh, Alexander's smirk turns into a kind of smile for a second. He smacks you on the shoulder. I know you well enough to know that you're mistaken, Bubba. But see, I want to believe you're right. I want to believe I'm still Ale Alexander. And now it'll become much easier for me to keep on believing. Thanks, kid. And if I travel with a fellow believer too, who knows? Maybe I'll actually become myself again. Plus, someone really needs to find that old fart Marazov eventually. So you better start welcoming me into the team, you nasty chav. We'll see about that. Alexander tries to burp out the melody of the USSR anthem. When he sees you looking, he quickly covers his mouth with a hand. Oh, is he in my party now? Well, sweet. Okay. Okay, we got a whole posse going. Come on, everybody. Alright, let's see what he's good at. He's got a big backpack on, at least. He can carry 108, so... He, well, he has good strength. Let's see. Let's see what he's all about real quick. Nine? Oh, wow. So he says nine strength and nine endurance. Martial arts and melee weapons are pretty good. Alright, so he is a melee. Alright, he's straight. Okay. So these are all unlocked. What level is this guy? Jeez Louise. Level 13. Yeah, he's our highest level guy. Alright. Okay, okay, this is fun. Um... Think like the enemy. Uh, practice makes perfect, even though it means you have to survive a few hits in battle. Resistance to damage grows each time you suffer four more damage. Okay, so I want to get this. It's going to cost seven, but I also want him to have true grit. I think Swindler is going to be a little more important here. But this is also really good. I mean, he carries 108, so maybe he doesn't need Swindler right now. Um, 
Let's get this, because he can tank with me. And he almost has Praetorian as well, so yeah, let's let's rock that. Does he have a melee weapon at all? He has an axe. I'm gonna take your money, bud. And your crackers. Okay, we need to get this guy equipped, so I think off camera I might head to Kras though. How long have I been recording? Yeah. Um I'm gonna give him this shock. How much does this shotgun take to use? Forty-five rifles and shotguns, what is he at? Fifty-one. Alright, so he can use the shotgun. Good, good, good. I think I have some armor I can give him as well. He'll keep this hat for now, but I can probably find something better. I definitely find something better. Actually, you just hold on to that. I'll sell this and this, of course. Um, here's a shotgun. Here's some ammunition. Well, I shouldn't give him the good stuff. The slugs, because I'm sure... Yeah, it's better. I'm pretty excited about this. Let's see, uh... Come on out, bud. I need to get you off your, uh, ranged. There you go. I think he has the armor. But him having the extra endurance might be a good idea. Since he's already pretty tanky. So instead of this, yeah, I'll just uh, I'll give that back to Fidel. Actually, hold on. How much is uh, how much health does he have right now? And if I remove that, how much health is he gonna have? So he has 117. Wow. Okay. And then if I take that endurance away, how much is he gonna have? That's a decent amount of health, actually. Yeah. Go ahead and take that back. All right, well, look at this. Got a whole posse. All right, I'm going to call the episode here. Uh, off camera, I'm going to go back to Krasno and try and get him better equipped. Uh, we have the kitchen being built now, and then I think in the next episode, we're going to do the mutant quest and save uh, the statue of Lenin. In the, name of, uh, in the name of Lenin, we'll save the statue of Lenin. Where is that at? I think it's further south. This should be, uh, I forgot what it's called, the scrapyard or something? Here it is, old scrapyard, yeah. It's all the way down here. Alright, so that's what we're going to do next episode. And uh, hopefully Alexander will be better equipped for that upcoming fight. Yeah, thanks for watching, and I hope to see y'all in the next episode.